We lost another die roll. We're playing against Infinite Monkeys, who has a avatar that I've never seen before. Now this one is an awkward no mountain hand. If this we had a single mountain, it would be a snap keep. Um, I think we can keep it still. We just we draw. A, we have to draw a mount where we've got ten red sources. So we've got ten. We've got we got a one in three and a bit chance of drawing a red source. I think it's I think it's still better than the average six though, right? Yes, that, that, that's exactly where I'm at. Like, I, I really like the favor. Like, I like the steampunk. I was really excited for Kaladesh, but just in the playing the games and building the decks, it just never works for me. Like, I, I'd have the exact same deck as the next person, and I just could not get the win. Damn, we draw a forest. And yeah, I just couldn't get the win. You know, I was, I was building decks the right way. I was playing as well as I could, but I just got beaten. Okay, but it's on blue, which means that our slow start, whew, which we don't have to worry about anymore, um, is not as bad as it could have been. But yeah, like I, I like the favor of Kaladesh, and when it comes up as a as a flashback draft, I'll be doing it. Like I'll I'll jump in on it. Opponent cycle. Okay, so we're playing, we're playing against blue black cycling. But yeah, this this format, like I, I feel this format just is. Better. I just even though the general consensus is that you can you have to play aggro to win, it feels like there's more decks and more viable cards that you can play in this this game in this um this format. Uh, no other red source. So I guess we'll play the two drop and keep up shed weakness. There's no point playing cartouche here. We'll attack and exert. We'll get our damage in. Obviously, the opponent, this deck tends to be slow, so the faster we can get more damage in, the better. And now we can make it apply a blockable. And we've got Shred Weakness to untap it. No, Shred Weakness doesn't untap. I keep thinking Shred Weakness untaps, but it doesn't. Cycling. Cool. Keep, keep looking for cards and not doing anything. I'm more than happy with that. My opponent plays Drake Haven. I'm probably going to be sad. I'm going to be honest. I might cry a little bit. I hate playing as Drake Haven. I'm finding the probably the disappointing thing I found here is that when I have picked up a really good card, I haven't drawn it. I went, I did a, I got Liliana in my probably my second draft. First picked her and built a not terrible deck around her. Literally went, oh, I went two rounds because I don't play the third. I went 0 2 without drawing her once. And it was like a cycling deck, so I was drawing cards a lot. She was always at the bottom of the deck somehow. So that was disappointing. It's obviously not nobody's fault except for the game shuffler not liking me for whatever reason but the fact that i've played two games and drawn glory bringer twice and cast glory bringer twice feeling pretty good about that opponent has decisions to make splendid agony um i think we want to keep our while these alive question is which one I think we'll, yeah, that, that, that's various. That's that, that's just having a win. I think we want to keep the initiate alive because it means more damage, unblockability when they do start playing with creatures. Um, yeah, very sucks. And that's that, yeah, just just having a win. But it was a really good deck. And like you, know, you wanted to ah, uh, minus one, minus one counters stay, FYI. So that was, that was silly of me. And sometimes I misplay really badly. So, yeah. <laughs> so 
So my opponent does nothing. Shame scoop. No, no, no shame scoop. No shame scoop. We, I've, I've, I've done, I've played a lot worse things in my life. <laughs> and I've come back from it. Game is not anywhere near over. All we need to do, like, it's easy. All we need to do is draw a mountain, glory bringer. Game over. Uh, I want to kill this because this is going to be painful for me. So I think we cartouche it because it's a two. Yeah, let's do that. Because that could be really sucky for me. Wow, I still can't, I can't believe I did that. Um, and we get to get damaging because it's got menace. You got a 3-2, you got a 3-2. I'm very happy for you. Mountain, forest. So then I can put another cartouche on it. I probably don't really want to though. We can play the nimble blade. I think we just want to play the nimble blade here. I could attack and trade with the initiate, but they're almost at embalming mana, so it's not much point. Play land, because why not? Pass. Not much more I can do at the moment. Cycling something, I'm guessing. Yep, cycling. I really want to see... Clospeed? Clospeed would be nice. Are they casting that? Oh, they're casting it. Okay. Well, you got me. I should totally attack with the Ancient Crab. I promise I won't block it. Oh, no, it's possible. Yeah. Attack for three. Nope, no attacks. Alright, we, now we just don't. I'm happy to draw a mountain. But that's it. Now I don't want to draw any more lands. And I want to draw Glory Bringer. And then I'll be happy. Cycling. So opponent has cycled one, two. Three, four times. Guessing they're not going to attack. Oh, no, they're attacking. So they've got a creature to play. Okay, at least we can bring in um, Stinging Shot. Yep, definitely bring in Stinging Shot. Soul Scar Mage, that's not what I want to see. Okay, now I want to stop drawing the one drops. Still no attack. Uh, I could attack with... Nah. No point. Don't want to glory bring our... Try of knowledge. Why don't draw in cards? Nah. So, so there's a world where they could deck themselves, but being they've got six power of flying in the air, it's not going to happen. Would the game be any different right now if I hadn't screwed up? I don't think it would. Six, ouch. Magnus writes a card. Magnus Rate is a card. So I think we're just going to attack here. Just depending on what opponent does, Magnus Spray, one of the initiates. It does get how does that work? Yeah, that's no, a separate line call. I was say because because of the this replacement, it's still a separate effect, so it's still gonna exile the creature. See how I put a box here. Yup. Um, Magnus plays an extra point of damage. We may as well do it now. Hit him for four. I 
I really want to draw a five drop. To be honest at the moment I don't care which five drop. Like if I draw the Jackal Twins or Colossal I'll be happy, but obviously Glorybringer is the best one. Because it's just gonna get it in here hard. Opponent is deciding if they want to counter Magma Spray or respond to Magma Spray. Guess they want to respond to Magma Spray. Cool, that happened. So they played, because I was F6, it happened, but they split an agony, both counters on the Skull Scar Mage before prowess, so it died. Attacking. So we go with eight. Alright, now we don't want to draw lands. Um, guess we can attack. May as well. It's got menace, so they can't block it. So apparently has double splinter agony in the main. So we'll definitely look at upgrading one of our two drugs, our one twos to a one three this turn this game. Yup. Although there's only so many of those you want as well. Hmm, no point attacking because we can't kill anything. Okay, we need to draw something. This draw step. Oh, we're just dead. Dead, dead. Scoop that up. Where were we drawing anything? Mountain, mountain, yeah, so there's our first five drop and fling wouldn't have done anything. So we're gonna bring in stinging shot because they've got multiple flyers. I think we're gonna upgrade to another one of these instead of this guy. Taking out for the stinging shot though. Brute strength. Uh, brute strength's good. I like brute strength. Maybe we can cut a land here. Maybe we cut a mountain. So we're losing a one drop, so it doesn't make it as bad. We're going to be on the play. We've got components slow deck, so we've got time to build our boards. I think that's right. Yeah, let's do it. YOLO. Uh, yes, we're playing first. <sighs> um, so you can probably keep this. We're still 50-50 to draw a land, so one extra land turns on both these cards, a third land for this and that. Yeah, let's keep it. It's fine. It's not great. Okay, you, you could see Mulligan in this hand. I wouldn't argue if someone did. But we've got a land. We've got a good chance of drawing a second land. And we've got a creature we can cast. Damn it. And of course I get proven wrong. Because they don't draw lands. And I lose my only creature. That's annoying. Land, 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 land. Right. Just got my worst two drop there. Right. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Let's cut the five drop because the game's not coming to that anytime soon. Okay, we 
we're higher than 50% to draw a land now. now you've got one land, that doesn't stop them. Yeah. <coughs> GG. Oh, this game's probably over. Turn the salt levels up, guys. This is where we get salty. But it's probably our own fault, but we will just have we have my magic. Hey, we got a land. We got a land and we're only facing down six, seven, eight points of nine points of power, three cards in hand. Guess we play for the most power in play. cycles one thing and all these guys get bigger or just place planet aggro that's in his hand there it is and then cycle something for value there you go we did wow well that happened <laughs> um probably was right to bulligan No, I think I think the numbers were still on our side for for keeping that hand. Yeah. Oh. Well.